so you join me back down in London this evening. Um, and I figured it was time to use the roll of Cine Still 800T that I've had sat in the fridge for a month or two. Um, so I have loaded it up into the Minolta. Um, the lens on there is the 50mm 1.4. Um, I've got a couple of other lenses with me. Um, a 24, 2.8 and a 135, 2.8. Um, but as it's dark, I'm probably going to mostly use that one because of the wider aperture. Um, but yeah, I'm in the city um, and going to wander around and hopefully shoot a few images, um, little streets at night, find some interesting pockets of light to play with, uh, maybe do a few on the underground as well. Um, so I guess if you were watching this, uh, a lot of you might already know about 800T. For those of you that don't, it's basically movie film. Um, it's kind of been repurposed for shooting stills. Uh, the way they've done that is they've removed a sort of protective layer that the film has on it to begin with, uh, which is used because when they whiz through the movie projectors, um, it would sort of cause static and sparks and things. Uh, so that layer, which is called the Remjet layer, gets removed, um, and then we end up with the film that's now sat in my camera. The T means it's tungsten balanced, uh, so it's sort of designed to produce the right colours under tungsten lighting, which is your standard indoor light bulbs. Um, but it means that under fluorescent lights um, you get this cool kind of cinematic, more cool toned image hopefully. Um, the other thing that removing the remjet layer does is produces uh, quite notable red halations around uh, bright lights. Uh, some people like it, some people hate it. I guess when I get the pictures back I'll, uh, I'll decide whether I like it or think it's crap. Uh, anywho, I'm going to finish the cup of coffee I'm having in my room and then head on out. saw the first two images on the roll um, had some light leaks on them. I'd read ahead of time that this could happen uh, so I wasn't too surprised um, but interesting to see. Interestingly I don't think it particularly ruined the shots, the, uh, the light leaks are quite atmospheric. Um, the next one here by these uh, escalators with the sign in the background I thought just begged to be shot with, uh, with this particular film. Uh, the neon sign with the red glow around it. Uh, combined with the sort of cooler green tones of the interior lighting works really well. So, so far things are looking pretty good. So I grabbed a couple of images here in this uh, pedestrian walkway uh, that was under a skyscraper being constructed. Um, interestingly, the one within the tunnel here is less successful. Uh, basically, it seemed to come out really underexposed, so I've had to lighten this up in post-processing. Um, that's obviously given a fairly heavy amount of grain and colour cast in the shadows, uh, so probably need to pay more attention to exposures next time. I guess the metering must have got confused on the camera here. Next up it was time to head down onto the tube network and go over to the west end and get a few shots around there.
So Piccadilly Circus had plenty of options for shooting. I took this traditional image of the steps leading down into the underground station with the billboards behind. Uh, they were pretty bright, but Highlight Recovery managed to pull some detail back. So this came out pretty good. Um, I also liked this other kiosk at the side of the street um, with the people walking past. I stuck on the longer lens for this hot dog stand, um, but I'm not quite sure where I ended up focusing here. Uh, zooming into 100%, none of it looks sharp, so um, either I missed or maybe that lens is not super sharp. I've not used it a huge amount, so maybe some experiments in better light needed there. Um, I think my favourite so far was this uh, other shot leading down into the underground, which was a little earlier on. I think this is probably going down into Bank Station. Um, I just really like the reflection of the lights on the stairs um, as they lead down into there. And I was tempted to try a square crop on this image to see if it works any better. Uh, let me know what you think. This image looking down the empty corridor with the crates uh, is another one of the, my favourites from the whole roll, I think. Um, I just really like the tones of the sort of cool bluey green on the wall through to the warmer colours on the roof and the traditional sort of glow that we get with this film on the spotlights. Um, the image kind of reminded me of the scene at the end of Raiders of the Lost Ark with the warehouse full of crates. Uh, I don't know whether you agree or not. Let me know what you think. So I found this little Christmas market under the bridges on the south bank. Uh, the initial overhead shot was underexposed sadly, so bringing that up has brought in a green colour cast in the shadows again. Um, and the first shot of the little hut was also underexposed for some reason. The second one was better, um, but the composition is not great, there was quite a lot of people around. Um, the next morning I headed back down onto the underground, um, and I really like the set of images I've got here, I think uh, 800T suits this sort of environment really well. Um, the one of the tunnel um, I like is quite, I think because there's no one in this one, um, there's something almost futuristic, like it could be a nuclear bunker or something. Um, and just the combination of lights and the greenish tones in the other images I think work really well. So it turns out I had a couple of shots left on the roll when I got home. Um, so to use those up, uh, I thought this tyre shop close to my house would work quite well with the open door 
um, and the illuminated interior contrasting with the dark outside. Quite pleased with this one. And finally, um, I believe it's compulsory that every roll of 800T has a photo of a gas station taken on it. Uh, so that's the final shot. Anyway, let me know what you think of the images. I'm probably going to take another roll of this off to Germany, to Berlin in a few weeks. Um, I think it's probably going to work quite well there. I enjoyed shooting with it and I'm actually really pleased with the results. They're better than I uh, assumed I was going to get. Uh, I think next time I'm going to keep an eye on shutter speed a little bit more. Um, I haven't decided yet whether to shoot it at 1600 and then push it. Um, remains to be seen. Depends on light levels. But uh, yeah, anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.